Oh, this is Halo 5 Tutor with another Halo 5 multiplayer gameplay commentary. As always, I'm bringing you the tips and tricks that you need to step up your game and take it to the next level. I'll help you win more often and have more fun while you're doing it. This time I'm playing Strongholds on the map The Rig. This is a great game type. It's a great map. I had a lot of fun. I think you will too. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the basics of the game type if you haven't played it yet. And then give you some advanced strategies for how to win. So in Strongholds, there's three different strongholds or territories scattered throughout the map. And whichever team occupies two of the three strongholds at a time is going to score points. And then if you go into total domination, which is all three strongholds at once, then you score points even more quickly. And the first team to score 100 points wins the game. So the premise is simple enough, but it can be a little difficult to execute, and there's a few subtleties that I want to point out that can help you win right off the bat. So first off, when you're capturing a stronghold all by yourself, it captures very, very slowly. But if you capture it as a team, it captures much more quickly. So teamwork, teamwork here can be very important. If you're, if you're nearby a teammate who is capturing a stronghold, dive in there for just a couple seconds, help them capture it, and then not only will you capture the stronghold more quickly, but you'll be able to move on together as teammates to complete a, a objective such as you know taking down your opponents or capturing a nearby stronghold. So that can be very important. But also, uh, and this is much more subtle, so I guarantee you that most of your opponents aren't thinking about this, but it's something that can give you a real upper hand. When you look at the screen, there's three different icons, one for each stronghold, telling you who owns that stronghold at a given time. And when your opponents are capturing one of your strongholds, a little dial will start to spin around the stronghold. And if the dial is spinning slowly, then you know that there's just one opponent in that stronghold. But if the dial is spinning quickly, then of course there's several opponents in that stronghold, sometimes the entire team. And so keep that in mind as you're rushing to a stronghold to try and recapture it or prevent a capture. If it's spinning slowly, you know you're just dealing with one opponent and you can identify them quickly, take them down, and then complete the objective, capture the stronghold. But if it's spinning very quickly and you know you're dealing with multiple opponents, you want to find a strategic position where you can lob some grenades in there, where you can pick off your opponents, make sure they're all uh, have either moved on or been killed before heading into the stronghold. You don't want to just dive into that stronghold and start a firefight in the middle of the stronghold. That's a huge disadvantage because the strongholds are generally in very vulnerable positions. There's usually not a lot of cover. They're usually on the ground level, which is bad. Um, of course, there's not going to be very good escape routes and things. So you're kind of a sitting duck, generally speaking, when you're in the stronghold. So you don't want to spend one second longer in a stronghold than necessary. Generally, when I'm capturing a stronghold, I'm, I'm using what little cover I have. And as soon as it's captured, I'm quickly moving on and finding a more strategically advan advantageous position. So... You know, with a lot of objective game types, and this one specifically, your opponents are going to be clustered in very specific, predictable areas, and they're all going to be there together at the same time. And so grenades are a huge, huge factor in this game type. If you're not in the habit of using your grenades regularly, which you should be, but if you're not, you really, really should focus on your grenades during this game type, especially if you're heading across the map, you see that dial spinning quickly, you know there's going to be two or three teammates or opponents over there. Uh, that's when you want to break out the grenades. And it's unbelievable. You can carry at least like six grenades in this game type, but two of each uh, variant. And so if you're running over towards a stronghold and you've got six grenades in your pocket, there's no reason you shouldn't throw every single one of those grenades in preparation of your arrival. So that way when you show up, then your opponents are going to be severely weakened. And that's going to be a huge advantage for you. Um, let's see, what other tips do I want to share with you? Ah, yes. Um, really with most objective game types, 
what you're really competing for is time on the battlefield. Whichever team has more time on the battlefield has more time to complete the objectives. So time is really critical. And what I mean by that is every time you respawn, you lose about five or six seconds of respawn time. Plus, you have to spend another five or ten seconds getting back into a position of where you can be useful on the map. So really, you're talking about a, a 10 second loss every single time you die, right? And so if you can, as a team, if your team can cumulatively get more kills than your opponents throughout the course of the game, that adds up to a lot more time on the battlefield to complete the objective. So that's something you really want to keep in mind, is you want to try to maximize the number of kills and minimize the number of deaths. Now that may sound, that may sound obvious, that may sound simple, but the, the truth of the matter is, is that you, you want to be able to, you can complete the objective more effectively if you are outnumbering your opponents and if you have more time on the field. So you don't want to just run into that, uh, that uh, stronghold and, and capture it with all these opponents waiting around just to kill you. You want to make the situation safe by eliminating as many opponents as possible and then proceeding on to complete the objective. Of course, the only exception is if it's an absolutely dire situation and your team is, is, is facing imminent loss and you have to dive into the stronghold just to prevent a capture. You know, that's something you can do. But generally, you want to clear an, an area out and then complete the objective. Certainly, if you're trying to evict uh, opponents out of a stronghold, you want to do so from a distance. You don't want to go into the stronghold and mix it up with them. You want to kill them from a distance. Here I get a nice double with these grenades. I was outnumbered. I get this double kill. I'm feeling like I'm a real winner. And then I just jump into this gaping hole, right? So that was like a huge fail on my part. I have this like really wicked moment where I'm outnumbered two to one. I get the kills, but then I dive off the edge of the map. So that wasn't cool. But uh, Halo 5 Tutor, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.